Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we're going to take a little break from the spray booth and we're going to open up this big box of loose cars that came from my buddy Joey in the States. This thing's got some good weight to it, so I'm pumped. Every time I open up a big box of loose cars like this, I get excited because you never know what's in there. Oh, dude, what's this? Right off the bat, I see a letter. We're going to read that. What are these? Dude, hog wild. We're gonna build this thing. These are stickers? Hell yeah, Joey. Dude, we're so making this at our earliest convenience. Click, 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 click. Uh, let me read this letter. Hopefully this is his truck. Let's see what Joey has to say. Hey man, here are some Hot Wheels, Matchbox, etc. that I have had kicking around. Can't wait to see what you do with them. Hopefully one or two of them make it on the channel. Well, guess what, Joey? They're all gonna make it on the channel. I included some stickers of my two-wheel drive pulling truck, Hog Wild. Ladies and gentlemen, Joey Eppin in Hog Wild. Dude. Look at that thing. I'll have to try to get a few more pictures of it from you from a couple different angles. I don't know if I'm gonna have tires that big, but anyways, Joey, thank you so much. I can't wait. Oh geez, it's just a huge box of loose cars. Dude, look at this RV. Are you kidding me? What is this thing? Chieftain. Wow, man, we're so gonna do something with this. Look at it. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, this will be a popular one. Racing Champions, F-350 Dually. Working Tailgate. My last Dually video got upward to like 60,000 views. But that was also a Chevrolet. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Oh, what the heck is this thing? It's called a Hot Seat. I've never seen that thing before in my life, man. It's disturbing. Look at this. Eek. Uh, so the plunger is the steering wheel. Man, who came up with that one? That's hilarious, but also kind of concerning. Next up, we got a vintage. Tell by these wheels, look at those things. 55 Chevy pickup. I saw a little hint of that green color, yeah. See that bluish teal? You know this is gonna have that 90s kind of squiggle down the side of it, right? So that's gonna be a real cool build. Next up, we got a Matchbox Red Rider Dodge Charger. She's a little mashed, unfortunately, so she needs some extra loving to get back to where it once was. Or maybe it'd make a good Mad Max mobile or something crazy like that. Missing its motor, but super cool nonetheless. Looks like we got another 90s casting, a Money Testarossa. I think that's a Testarossa anyways. Check out this Beast Corvette. <laughs> what? I've never seen that casting. Matchbox Speed Shop Model A Ford. Man, that thing, that thing looks like a collector's item to me. That's pretty cool. Nineteen ninety one Hot Wheels tractor with loading bucket. Too bad it's in such nice condition. I would love to do a restoration on something like that. She's a beauty. Comes a match box super fast model A Ford. Looks like we got a missing headlight. That's another awesome project. Hell yeah, check it out. Here we have a Hot Wheels quad. <laughs> that thing is vintage, man. What's this say? 1986. What is that thing? Was that a Moto 4 or something like that? Wow. There's something for everybody in this box. Make sure you guys are commenting which ones you want to see. Because I know everybody's different, so. Got a little bonus twist tie on the back of that one. 1997 Ford Trophy truck. Very cool. I was just playing some uh, Forza Horizons 4 the other day and it was bombing around in a Fox Racing Trophy truck and that thing is incredible. That like, thing does like 300. We have a 2001 Altered State. This is a little, little Hot Wheels dragster. It's got a little parachute in the back. Hell yeah. 
Wow, look how funky this one is. 1987, Matchbox, Dodge Dakota. <laughs> look at that, that's 90s paint job. That's like, bing, 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 bing. Wow, here's another one, Cosmic Blue, Dodge Charger. That's pretty awesome. Pretty darn cool, that one, hell yeah. Hey, I've got a couple of these. That's a nice one. These wheels are always hard to find, so... And these bumpers always get broken. But those wheels are great for everything. Got ourselves a Hot Wheels Monte Carlo. What does that say? A Thunderburner? Slightly modified for a number 12. Looking good though. Looking clean. That's a pretty cool casting. I want to learn a little bit more about that one. Got ourselves a 32 Ford. Very nice. Nineteen seventy Hemi Roadrunner. It's my favorite car. Holy moly, what's this thing? Matchbox Chevy Pro Stalker. Whoa, look at that. This almost looks like one of those cars on Instagram where they um you know they deal them up so they look kind of dirty and crusty. They look just like this, to be honest. That's definitely one that's just prime for a restoration though. Number 14, hell yeah, that's a beautiful car. Speaking of Pepsi, how do you guys feel about vintage Pepsi trucks? <laughs> yes. What would you guys do with this one? Would you actually restore it as a Pepsi truck? Because I'm, I'm not above doing that. I actually prefer Pepsi. I don't drink a lot of soda, unless there's booze in it, but I, I prefer Pepsi over Coke. I can tell you that much. That's a pretty cool truck. Check out these sides. I wonder if there used to be like little crates of Pepsi that came with this thing. Ooh, careful. Careful, careful she's in rough shape. Check this thing out. Matchbox number 46, Volkswagen Beetle mid-engine dragster with a flip-up body, oh my god. I can't wait, I can't wait to start working on some of these. Joey's the man. Next up we got another 33 Willys Streety Rod. Hell yeah, this one's custom gold. Beautiful. Now this next one here says Road Champs, 1984, Ford Mustang, it's a convertible, GT, and it has the boss <laughs> on the trunk lid. The doors are spring-loaded, so there must be something going on in there with the spring. Pretty sweet though, I don't see too many convertibles that have the actual, um, like the top cover and the glass intact. Next up, we got a pretty cool Thunderbird here, Matchbox. Hmm, that's a little copyright date, 1982. A 67 Thunderbird. It's got a metal base on it. Pretty sweet. It's got a Matchbox flare side pickup. Look at this thing, wow. It's got raised lettering on the tires. What a beast. It's even got a little sunroof. That's pretty cool. I really like the way this one looks. Nice and bright with the black. You know, maybe if it was just cleaned up or redone. Got ourselves a little Matchbox Judge. That's a pretty cool car. Spoiler, says the Judge on it. That's a nice casting. Got ourselves a number 34 Hot Wheels Flat Out. Yes, I've worked on a few of these. I really enjoy that casting. It's got a cool interior. And they always look really good when they're cleaned up. So I'm happy to own it. Maybe we'll turn her into a race car and uh, we'll just keep it number 34, man, because it was destiny. Destiny. 
We've got a 1940 Ford. Speaking of 1940 Fords, <laughs> check it out. There's the original. That's what it looked like before they turned it into a dragster. Look at those wheels on that thing. Got like chromey white walls. Cool. What is this? Farm fresh local delivery. Best of the West. Ford Bronco. Wow, that's pretty cool. That little bike on the back looks so completely naked, eh, doesn't it? It looks like it's made of wood. Pretty cool though. I like the uh, I like the original Tampos. I don't think I'd do anything with that. I think that's kind of neat. It's kind of classic. This one's just screaming for a restoration. It's like the old, um, what do they call them things? The old XJs? Is that what it is? Two-door Jeep Cherokee. We're getting down to the end of the box here. We got a big 19, that's a 1970, right? Big 70 Chevelle SS. That thing's actually really nice. Maybe a little wheel swap action on that one. Nice car. We got a Matchbox Jeep 4x4. Big whip antenna. Spare tire. That thing's cool. Rusty Wallace, Pontiac. Hell yeah. Racing Champions Edition. That thing's kind of banged up. Couple bumps, couple scrapes. It's got a decal placed right on the middle of the windshield. We've got another NASCAR here on some... Rubber Eagle tires, kind of interesting. This one looks like it's been kind of modified up. I can see remnants of like Valvoline stickers on the hood and stuff. Number 20. The 33 Willie Streety Rod. This one's the White Heat. Super vintage gasser. Gleek, 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 gleek. I love it. Got a Mustang convertible, copyright 1983. Hot Wheels, very nice. This one's got a plastic body, but it's got a lot of good details on it. I wonder what it used to be. It's got kind of a, almost like a fluorescent green color. Super cool anyways. That's something we could probably soak overnight and super clean and a lot of that paint would probably just come right off with a toothbrush, but we'll see. We'll get to this one eventually. I'm curious. It looks like a cool casting. Anyways. We've got a cool Mustang Mach 1. I always like this one. It's got a little tack on the hood. I'm pretty sure I got a couple of these. I haven't done one yet, so. Soon. So that's basically all the cars. Uh, I got one more little Matchbox Rolls Royce. Boop. And then we got a Hot Wheels Metal Body Metal Base a 67 Camaro. If a guy ever wanted to make a Redline Camaro, that wouldn't be a bad one to make it out of. Those are cool cars. I'm gonna go through and uh, pick out all my favorites and you guys let me know which ones are your guys' favorites. I imagine that uh, a lot of these we're gonna have the same opinion on. I'm definitely all about these Willys gassers. Those things are amazing. The number 46 hot chocolate. Very cool, can't wait to work on it. This Pepsi Chevy Pro Stalker. I kind of want to redo this exact paint job. I don't think these 14s are factory. I'm pretty sure he painted those on by hand. This Challenger thing is handwritten on the back, you know, 14. It'd be cool to kind of just go with this exact paint job and just redo it. 
What do you guys think? Would you do that? I love this off-road Corvette. What a beast. The little Piggly Wiggly Ford Bronco. Love it. Matchbox flare side. Love it, love it. Red Rider. I don't know if we're going to be able to bring that back. We'll see. Sometimes when that glass gets mashed in there, it's forever deformed. This has probably been mashed for quite a while, so my worry is even if we get straightened out the roof, the glass will just never fit it again because it's been under pressure ever since this thing got stepped on in the middle of the night. We'll see. I like these two-door Jeeps. I'm a fan. Convertible Mustang GT. Fan. Thunderbird. Like it. Roadrunner. Awesome. Super fast Model A. Very nice. Ford Dually. The Judge. Flat out 442. And I think the Dodge Dakota with these funky colors, man. Because this is like my childhood. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. We have another look at this Hogwa. <laughs> and of course, don't forget the Chieftain back here. Winnebago Chieftain, this is our chance, you know, if we really wanted to make the Jimmy Bago. I really want to open this one up and see what uh, see what's inside there. I want, to, I want to look at the little sinks and the tabletops and everything. This would be a real cool custom. Well, let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites, which ones you guys want to see first, and I will try to accommodate your wish as best I can. That's going to do it for me today. I'm going to grab a couple of these and start working on some decals for the projects for this week and next week. So make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.